Yes, what's going on? What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Director Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's a surprise because you're never expecting this, but this is just the beginning of all this stuff. Without me wasting time and talking too much about my new type of tutorial, today I'm going to show you how I color grade a Lumix GH6 footage, which it was shot through. Uh, it was it was highlights when it was shot, but the footage is very very low key. When I talk about low key, which, which means uh, it's just very low lights, like an exposure, it's very low. So, as you can see the footage, as you can see on the screen, the footage is very, very, very darkish. You can't see the darkish of a footage because I never did a Rec 709 right there, but so the time I do Rec 709, you will see it's very darkish. All right. So another thing that I'm going to explain to you, you see this footage, it's it's very complicated. It never shot properly. It's like it never uh, the setting of a camera never it never it never made uh, they never made it perfectly clearly. Like you know the pro color uh, the pro directors the way they do to their uh, footage. But I'm going to try push it hard until it's getting better, and that is the aiming of color grading. But I'm not gonna do so much. I'm only going to use uh, something like a four or three or five notes only. Okay, let me not waste time. Let me start in color grade this footage. I'm going to press uh, Control uh, Alt S to get a three notes, which is I'm going to make uh, four notes. For the start so this is my middle node which is going to be my cst which is i'm going to do a color space transformations as you can see uh in a in a black uh, in a lumix we have uh sorry in a lumix we have a uh, vlog which you will shoot in vlog so this is panasonic vlog i'm gonna start it with the three gamuts and then i'm going to jab on panasonic vlog to input gamma so as you can see the input gamma the picture is very very darkish you see the picture the way it looks very darkish so i have to push it until it there there one i want it to be so the next thing to my output i'm going to you know drag an information just like that as usual i love reg 709a as usual you know about it uh, but before you do so please make sure you just you know uh you just put your uh, your color management as just like this so, so yeah so what i'm about to do in my first node i'm going to make a custom curves let me write this c curves which is my custom curves which is i'm going to treat my picture until it sound or it look way i want this to be so make sure you do so so in here i'm i'm just analyzing what the problem of a picture the problem of a picture it's very darkish it has a nice mid-tone you see the mid-tone right here this, the mid-tone is a is around something like 256 so there so i wanted to push it up to 512 or something like 384 and my highlights i want to push it until 768 or something like 896 yeah the range of an exposure until i see it got important but my my shadows i don't want it to be too much but i want my shadow to be in because of this uh this uh this clothes this i don't know the proverb that he, he wore so the first thing i'm going to push my highlights until there I, I told you and then also i'm going to push my mid tone until i get a proper mid tone but also i'm going to drag down my uh my shadow so until i got that super blackish so i want a very constructed picture so this is what i'm going to do and this is uh, my first note, which is I control my exposure through curve. You can control your exposure 
by using any uh, tools that you want, but you can use uh, uh, primary uh, prim primary tools. You can use uh, those what low tools, any tools that you know about, any tool that I explained. So you can use so. So another note which I'm going to treat is my work balance. Let me tell you this: it's not like offense. Most of the time when you do your work balance, you have to control your work balance through the temp or through the tint and what, or sometimes you have to use offset and do your saw. It's not like that. Sometimes you can just use your lift gamma gain to control your, you know, your work balance. As I can see the picture, the balance is perfect. The balance is good, but we have a very lack of um, skin tone. The mid tone is very light there. So I want that skin tone, the skin tone that we often talk about. So I want it to do there. If you see my virtual score perfectly, you go realize, uh, you go realize that the picture is right, it is right there, there it wants it to be like, yeah. My my blush, my Saint Anne is there, except the greenish spot. Another, I don't want stars, I don't want smash that spot. I want to fix the mid tone because the mid tone is, is not good. So I'm going to drag it until I get the perfect skin tone. Not too much, not too much, just like that. Now you can see it's very perfect. You see, before it was like this. You see. But now like this, the skin, the skin tone is there, but I never mess around with my, 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 my background. But if I wanted to, uh, to collect perfect my white balance through temp or through offset, it's ruining my background. And this is not what I want. You see, if I want to push and to get perfect skin, it's ruining my background. Now you see my background is bit of, you know, it's a bit of a warm background and this is not what I want. I just want a cold background but to get the warm to my my mid tone and this is why I push uh, uh, my gamma instead of uh, my offset or my temperature. And this is the secret of color grade. You have to focus on your aiming. You have to see what I want and you can do that. And another thing I can do is just go to my highlights and do a opposite side of uh, opposite side of uh, of a mid tone. You said that the mid tone I push it to the a mid tone I push it to uh, to orange pot. Now the highlights I want to push it to push it back the opposite side. So it's going to be sad. So I want that a T white the white the cold white to the background. So now you see the separation the background is warm i uh, know i mean the mid tone is warm but the background is cold you see the coldness of a background let me you see now before and then let me show you after you see after the way the magic did so another note i'm going to do is my skin tone so i'm never i'm i'm, I'm not going to talk about a lot in here because you know about the skin tone so yeah we're going to do uh better uh, qualifications just like this you know make sure you select perfectly because this me i mean this mid tone of our skin it never it never show it never it never showed well so you have to be careful on this because you don't have to ruin your picture sorry what i've done yeah okay somewhere around here clean my black and yeah okay my my bro okay the noise in somewhere on that and also I'm going to reduce in and out ratio so that I'm inside of it, not outside of it, because I don't want that lines that's coming when you do uh when you do selections. Okay, now we're going to our color compression, which is we're going to compress uh our skittles. I'm going to select the part that I want. I'm going to drag it until over, and then I'm going to increase the saturation of our skin I 
I see everything sits where it has to be so I'm going to increase the saturation and reduce a bit of that and also what I'm going to do is just I'm going to select the skin and mess around with it so until I get perfect selection of skin another thing is my construct I'm going to construct the skin tone just like this then this I've make it darker or whiter so if I increase the number it's going to be a bit darker so this is type of a skin that I want now the skin tone is looking very good and then last which is okay this is not last this is um, smoother you know about it you know about this smoother you know we talk about this smoother so I'm going to look for the plug that's called look and then I'm opening my magic bullet to clean the skin tone because to be honest this video never shot perfect on a skin tone so I had to make his skin looking better you see I have to make it look very better you see now the skin smooth even though it has very 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 low lights and then last which is going to be noise but I'm not going to do the noise in here because for the sake of uh, my PC and my tutorial because we don't want to ruin the tutorial now okay thanks very much for watching this video this is your boy director Kim I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something about the color grade and this is what this is how I color grade this video a whole video I color grade just like this you see the other clips it's only have five or something like four notes doesn't have so much notes and this is what I have done in this video the video is out you can go and watch it there it's on my uh, my please play play uh, what do I call it uh, my playlist on my YouTube channel go to my playlist go there you can see all the video that I do color grade if you want to see them I also have a master class tutorial live sessions private sessions on um, it's have a three calls which is talk about everything from starting to finish off from the tools color science and everything uh, the last of it is I I show I, sh I, I just did the color grade from start from importing the videos up to export the videos they have two color grading stuff right there and also I have a loot so if you miss the loot you can contact me my number is there and this is the show board director Kim you've never seen me before and this is me uh, yeah so nowadays you're going to see me and see me and see me over and over